Hello everybody, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 32 of the Contest Round podcast. If you don't know already, we're available on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud and on YouTube in the playlist. Long form video, don't at me, it's how it is. And yes, you can't see us on screen because of internet troubles. It's a thing, people. But for those that support on SoundCloud, Spotify and iTunes, you don't see us but you can hear us, that sweet, buttery voice, and I've completely lost the plot. But it doesn't matter, because I'm joined with my good friend, my good buddy, and that is Dan of Frontline MCOC. You can find him on www.frontlinemcoc.home.blog, links in the description. Hello, Dan. What a week it's been. Rich, what a week indeed. I believe the word of the week is egregious. Egregious, thank you. (laughs) It's it's the it's the word that I kind of look at and don't really kind of think about. It's starting with what is, ah, uh, rather than uh, as I'm trying to give it an uh, but it's an ah. Uh, but that thank yes. you for that. <laughs> well, it is it is the word that sums up all the uh, all the issues we have been having this week. It has been quite a saga with uh, what are we on twenty eight point one that went yeah. live this week and. As we record this uh, podcast, um, Friday afternoon for me, Friday night for you, uh, it is not it's not over yet, is it? No, it's not. It's a very weird situation to be in. It's one where I don't know if Kabam could have been better to warn people in because we were talk just prior to the podcast, we were talking that about something that Kabam put on the top banner, where's where it's like says summoners due to an error, blah blah blah. It comes up as a yellow thing, a yellow thing, an orange thing. And it's still up. And we're like, right, well surely they could have taken it down. Or used it to warn players, like saying, Don't go back in, don't go back to the path that you've already done. Even though it might be an option for you to do that, don't repeat it because you might get in trouble again. And I was saying to Dan, there's there's an individual who I won't name, but has already repeated the same path they did, picked up more fabulous crystals. It's on the forums. Um, and basically, well, that would be con- in the mind of what's been happening in the last couple of days. That would be in line for a banning. So yeah, I wouldn't be feeling too good if I was in that situation right now. So yeah, <laughs> I would be pretty nervous. I I think communication is um, is important. Like it's just again, whilst we've been recording, I've been trying to reach out to find out what's what's the thing. But uh, we've just been told that it's fine to go back into the quest with. Um, I can't give you like the name of who, which member of Caban, but it wasn't the one that I was asking. Current bug uh, doesn't give infinite rewards, so you should go. Should be good, good to go. So we were able to get back in to um, to the quest, but it just there's not there's enough... still something wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's I, I'm yeah. just I'm just really am in a stage of just confusion. And we, we, the thing is, we've we're being asked about like, oh, was it okay to go in? And it's like, well, we don't really know. Right. I mean, that's we were just talking about this uh, in the pre-show. It's I've been telling people, uh, you know, as of right now, when we're recording this, um, just I would just wait uh, between Mutant Treasure Island and the Omega Quest. I personally am just going to wait until everything is fine and then I'm going to catch up. So hopefully by the time everyone is actually listening to this on uh, on Sunday mm-hmm. uh, that is the case uh, but as of right now I'm just gonna do some other stuff and <laughs> just let this whole thing play out because it's yeah. uh, it's not worth the trouble right now oh for sure for sure yeah. uh, it, it was uh, it was a, I want to say it's a, it was it does feel like a bit of a surprise with with this this quest not going well and we had the omega quest where that had like a missing yeah. selector missing it and it wasn't just um it wasn't just that t5cc selector some of the lower levels had missing yeah. rewards they were supposed to get multiple uh tier four basics and they weren't and uh, i think that just got um that that wasn't like the headline right like when a t5cc selector is missing people mm. lose their minds <laughs> Yeah. when when uh, some tier four basic is missing in an earlier difficulty that might take a little longer to um 
reach the news cycle. But uh, certainly there's been missing rewards in the um, in the Omega Quest and the launch of Mutant Treasure Island. Uh, that was that was definitely not clean. But this is the third month in a row where the update has not been clean as far as the new events going live. Mm-hmm. Um, the last two months there's been issues not that not as bad as this certainly but remember um all the paths were unlocked um the last couple months when the uh, event quest was going live or it was a side quest i forget uh, which which one exactly it was whether it was mm. a side quest or the uh, the event quest last month but that's been a thing like the 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 updates themselves have not been clean the last few months i don't know if that's just the pandemic or just because there's all this stuff in the updates they're really putting a lot in these updates yeah Uh, so i don't know if if stuff's just getting missed right now based on how they have to work or how much they're trying to squeeze in um you know they they certainly want the updates to be clean we want the updates to be clean but yeah it's this this was pretty rough yeah it's it's hard to kind of like to to put this down to yeah, what this, what this, is this is this stuff that has happened? Will it continue to happen? But I, my my concern is that, and with something we're going to talk about, is the amount and volume of content that's being put out. I don't, and it's I guess it's different really because I don't think everybody would probably share what we're feeling and what we're thinking right. towards the game because you know they yeah. they maybe don't prepare guides, record videos. Um, maybe they sure. maybe they do maybe they don't have uh, a family maybe they don't uh, do or don't have work maybe they're able to to do whatever but um, you know we've we've talked about the fact that we can't really keep up with the volume that's going in but at the same time is that something content wise that maybe if Kabam are working on several bits of content they're working on new content for end game players they're working on regular side quest content they're working on other stuff like summoner showdown. Yep. Future developments when it comes to promises from the roadmap. Is it now coming to a point that with their commitment as well to build new champions and other stuff like that, are they biting off a bit more than they can chew and therefore small little mistakes are kind of seeping in? Yeah, it, it kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Mm. Where, where uh, clearly stuff has gotten missed. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Well, why don't we why don't we get into our actual uh, <laughs> our actual rundown uh, for the week? And yeah. uh, I mean, the first thing is, of course, you know, the big news for all Marvel fans this week was the loss of Chadwick Boseman, mm. uh, who played Black Panther in the movies. Um, we did see from Kabam Mike saying that um, MCOC is planning uh, to do something in his honor, which is. Um, you know, which is something we all want to see and is certainly much uh, deserved. I mean, we have a character based on him in the game. Mm. Uh, we, he was uh, he was one of the celebrity uh, challenge uh, participants too, wasn't he? With him and uh, Tom Holland a while um, ago. That that might be. I, I can remember they did. Um, oh, they did Killmongers. I'm just to remember trying to remember his name. I yeah, wasn't there a Tom and Chadwick's? Thing. yes there was you're yeah, right there was like a, yeah. a special challenge with them so i would just say um you know that's coming they've acknowledged it just uh, be patient because unfortunately i will bet that everything that happened this week took bandwidth away from uh whatever they're planning to do for chadwick so hopefully hopefully everything can get resolved and uh we can have something in game for him uh soon yeah. but i don't know about you i've seen a lot of people uh change their uh profile pick to black panther i know i did that uh, and uh right. it was just a great uh great thing to see uh, yeah people remembering him because he meant so much to so many people absolutely i, I gotta I got be honest i'm kind of going away from the whole uh talk about it with mcc uh the the thing that annoyed me about um his passing is that 
they were already trying to like force this and this is like talking about the movie side of things and other stuff yeah they're already immediately talking like within within the first 24 hours about oh you know uh it should be now shuri takes the crown and it's like i don't really want to talk about what yeah i mean doing. it's it's that it's not the time for those conversations absolutely it's it was time like, to honor honor yeah. his memory and you know the thing i i love so much about marvel and the the huge marvel universe is that everybody has a hero yeah and and chadwick embodied that for so mm. many people like you could see with the reception of the movie that it was something special and yeah. he you know he lived up to the hype he embodied the part so it's just it's really sad to to hear about his passing and and the fact that um you know he was such a private guy it seems like um uh, even even the people involved with uh, the Black Panther movies didn't really know what was going on with him. Hmm. He's, it was it was so eye opening when he was doing the press junk. I think for the for the film, or there must be another film, and there was a clip. I think somebody put it onto the forums uh, where he was he was talking about uh, uh, two lads. I think suffering from uh, a cancer. And oh, I saw that. That was tough to get through. Yeah, that was really that was really powerful. Because it wasn't a case that he wasn't. This wasn't like an actor, you know, playing it up. This was like you no. Could tell. It was just so like genuinely meant a lot for him. Yeah, uh, because I mean, he had suffered, yeah. and uh, I, you know, it's it's more that we kind of look back on these kind of interviews and stuff and going like, man, I I need like I finished myself. I need to have a bit of a Chadwick Boseman like watch fest of some other films because he yeah. carries himself so well in in movies as an actor. Um, yeah, I mean, like Twenty One Bridges, I think was the last big film. I think there's a there's a film coming. Uh, it's either coming out his last ever film. Mm. But I can't remember what it's called. I think it's got like I think it's, I can't remember if it's like called Three Bloods or something like that or Three Reds or something like that in the title. I remember this? Like, uh, I've seen that the poster or something. But you know, I think it's it's definitely worth uh, checking out. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're 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 both kind of on the same hymn here. We're pretty gutted yeah. but Kavan yeah. will sort something out uh for the game but you know we've got to talk about a bit of positive before we talk about more scuff with the game uh and oh. the good news for for myself and dan are in a similar uh boat is that act 6.3 and is it act 6.4 as well dan uh yes i think act uh act 6.3 um had a little more work done to it but mm. yeah they were, they were took down some attack values in 6.4 as well that's good news. I mean, it's good news for yeah for for both of us and anybody that wants to do. It. I mean, for me, I, I my plan was to have six point two done last month, and I'm I'm behind on schedule. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to one hundred percent in six point two until I want to say end of end of this month when I take a a short holiday. Um, I say short holiday. Uh, it'll probably be like a couple of days or something, and I'm hopefully going to one hundred percent that before moving on to six point three. Where are you at, Dan, with with your with your scheduling of uh, of the oh, big content? Uh, I mean, six point two. Uh, I'm hundred percent six point one. I'm I'm kind of like you, waiting on a few, um, a uh, few chapters in six point two. The uh, Champion Mordo and Mister Sinister uh, chapters. I've only done one run through, and I am not even thinking about <laughs> um, Act uh, Six right now until they're totally done. Until uh, the pain point posse has uh, finished uh, mm. <laughs> their complete uh, work through of uh, Act Six, I'm not even going to worry about that. There's variant yeah. five, um, and if if I can pull Aegon, then I can do at least one run through Abyss. So I would like yeah. to complete Act uh, complete variant five, um, pull Aegon from the dual class crystals, get him all the way ramped up. And then run a path in abyss. That's that's the current plan. If R and Jesus blesses me, too true. Very good. Um, so end game content being the topic of discussion, the future. Now uh, the Act Seven beta has gone out to try. I don't know if everybody is. It, is uh, that. Yeah, it, it's it's in that um, phase where they're populating it, so it hasn't actually gone live yet it goes live on tuesday the 8th right that's yep that's good uh as i'm just 
too behind. I think yeah, there's like, just one too many things right now. <laughs> yeah. I, again, like I, I've I've kind of jumped the gun with something myself. Dan are going to talk about in a, in a little little bit, but yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, of of like content that's that, that's out there. Um, and speaking of content, Act and uh, Act Six, uncollected six star shards being removed and in the completion got a lot of people frustrated i do see it um i understand where people are coming from on it and it's going to be i think it's definitely going to be tough to to kind of go from one if uh, sorry i'll just kind of go to the go to the point that i want to make is yeah. that i feel that this is a change that kabam are making now that should have been done in the very start point of uncollected ever being put in it just seems like I understand what Kabam are trying to do, but it, it may be a case that they're... I think in the message they were trying to encourage people to go and do this like 100% uncollected or even push towards Cavalier. Um, what, what's what's your feelings towards this so whole situation? It's It's been an interesting one because uh, you, you and I, at our level, we're going to 100% no matter what, right? Yeah. So it's really about whatever order we get the rewards in, um, doesn't really matter because we're going to get them all and there's more rewards overall. If you could 100% before and assuming you can 100% now, you're going to have more stuff. Mm. So this isn't about us. This is about people that can't 100%, right? Yeah. And how do they approach the content? Now, were they were they pushing? Were they, were they max boosting for the last two bosses just to get through, just to get those completion rewards? Um, you know, Maybe that's the kind of person that really has an axe to grind here mm -hmm. some of it i think is just change is always tough <laughs> on this yeah. community uh i think part of it's just a visual issue because part of it's just mm -hmm. you log in and you look at it, you're like there's no completion rewards what happened like and then it's just an instant reaction before you look at like the overall picture um because i do think what they're trying to do is get people to try to 100% the individual chapters in order instead of doing one path in each chapter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, because if you look at it, like in chapter one, there's only seven paths total. And it's much easier to 100% the, the seven paths in all of chapter one than it would be to do one path in each uh chapter of the uh the event yeah so i think that's what they're doing because they there are six star shards if you 100 percent chapter one there there's 500 six star shards in the exploration of each chapter so part of it's just a reallocation so it's not that you can't get any six star shards i mean someone chapter one is significantly easier than chapter three so like the, you can get six star shards they did actually move the tier tier five basic shards instead of remember before it was three thousand in um completion of yeah. the event and now it's one thousand um in the um in the chapter exploration and completion mm -hmm. so they've reallocated that so you can actually get some t5b earlier as well which is nice uh, so there is some stuff that i like about it um, but it also doesn't really affect me. Like I said before, um, I can see what they're trying to do with it, but it's one of those things where, uh, you change stuff on people and they're going to have, they're going to have some issues because it does force them to interact with the content, uh, differently yeah. if they're not in a position to 100%. Yeah. I guess that's going to be the thing. One perspective against several others. Um, I think, that from what I've read from a lot of a lot of people is that their frustrations are largely yes and as, as you can alluded to like if you thought that the completion would be like hey I've got a fruit once and it was a real frustration but I'm glad I did it because it means I'll be able to uh, get this this and this that's it but multiple kind of coverage of it uh, I yeah I guess that's where the the issue lies for some players that will they be able to kind of fully explore it yeah, and I think there's some people that just don't like exploration. They mm. like the the cleanness of um, I'm going to go through once and I've done it. 
and that's fine with me. Um, and and then they move on. So they they might feel in a way that this is diminishing how they like to approach the content, as we've talked about before. I I like to approach content is I'm gonna. 100% one map, and then I'm going to move on to the next map at 100%. I never really go for completion with things yeah. unless it's, like, really important, like, I need a title. Yeah. Like then, I, then I might blitz to the title, but that's not... I don't enjoy that process. I, I like to go in 100% the map, but there's a lot of people who are like, I don't care about runs two, three, four, five where I don't get any rewards <laughs> until I get to 100% exploration. I don't want to do that, so... I totally understand why these people are like, yeah, this isn't how I want to approach the content, yeah. um, which is which is what Kabam's kind of telling you right now based on how they're structuring the rewards. They want you to go 100% map by map to really maximize it. Mm. So uh, before we, we move on to um, uh, talking about uh, Professor X, I did want to touch on one thing with the Cavalier rewards. What do you think about the uh, the four star special objective for the the ten percent T five CC? If I wanted to have more things to do in game, I would be happy with it. If I had the time to, I'd yeah. do it. If I was thinking of my first initial clear, um, and I and it wasn't so much of a time sensitive nature to me getting it done. I'd be all for it, but it's one of these things where it adds an extra element of work onto uh, my monthly that I I just don't have any time for. Yeah, you you didn't need another thing. Yeah, I did. I just did. I didn't need another thing, and it's a problem because the idea of what it gives is something um, I'm all for. Right, it's a top tier reward, T five CC. We all want it. Will I be doing it? I, I don't know. I I will give. I will give it a go. I'll I'll do maybe one quest, and see how it functions. If I'm getting, if it's causing me the stress and aggro, and it starts sucking my fun, I probably won't continue to do it. Right. I've seen plenty of people suggest the correct team. Not always something that I think I'd ever go for. If this was against something like I don't know, if it was three stars and uncollected, is it the set? Is it the same thing? I I'm not one hundred percent sure on, on on it. But look, it's not it's not the summoner showdown. Summoner showdown is ramped up five stars and you're using four stars against them. Yeah. With this, you've got the extra complexity with cavalier difficulty, and also you got the damage through the. Uh, through the block to contend with should i put on boost yes but again that kind of like puts more emphasis on me using boosts so therefore i'm not using the boosts in other areas that maybe they're more vital for i don't know yeah it's it's interesting i'm seeing a lot of people that are really jazzed up by it they like the challenge right it's making them think they're engaging with the content they're maybe playing some champions that they haven't played in a while Mm. which is cool i think for a lot of four or five year veterans of the game who naturally have uh, a, a built up four star roster, I think I'm sitting on like 36 uh, rank, uh, max rank four stars, 550 mm. uh, four stars. So I've got some options, right? Like the, the, the progressing players that have caught up that skipped over four stars, they're not as thrilled by this, understandably so, because they would have to spend resources to. Uh, rank up four stars, mm. uh, which they may not want to do. So I think there's, it is definitely a divisive one, um, but I think it's cool. For me, I'm really excited by the challenge. I'm, I'm definitely going to try to do it. Uh, and I would like to see them do more stuff in general that makes us use two stars, three stars, four stars, liked variant four for that reason, liked danger rooms for that reason, um, like say the you know the two star arena for that reason i just like that i i like the star restricted challenges mm. um i like having that deep roster and, and ranking everyone up uh, but one thing we should preface because you know people are going to get salty about this if they don't know it uh that objective changes every month uh, just because it's a four star challenge this month doesn't mean it will be next month so don't just 
start ranking up every four star because you think this is going to be part of your uh, monthly to do list because they have been upfront and said that objective changes every month. Yeah. Man, I'm just like I just thought whilst I'm record whilst we're recording is to just kind of like try and see like is there any um, what kind of damage output and also the rate of uh, of how you got to play it. and it's it unfortunately just looks like it's incredibly time consuming. I guess this is one of these things where the emphasis will be on certain champions that are able to ramp up damage quickly. So if I use just like a, an Archangel, for example, is what I'm using at the right. moment. I mean, Archangel's always a beast. <laughs> he is. And, and you for, know. Unfortunately, the, the, the problem will be the the ticks, uh, the damage in the block, um, you know, damage into the block at the moment. I'm just going to go into a block. Um, I'm hitting out like 500 a time, 500 um, health per hit. So that's quite excessive. My damage on say i've i've just picked a um colobsidian is ticking neurotoxins at 500 a time i think it was so it's ma it's not exactly making the dent into a 200k champion but then there's a, there's there's other options if you've got certain champions i'm not going to like totally poo poo this but if you've got action yeah. uh, options like um lead champions if you build each uh kind of fight for one specific lead champion like for example if i utilized uh, colossus colossus is a good damage for damage output but as well if i go off the notes because kabam haven't like maybe i'm poo-pooing it a bit too much but kabam have uh put in options for node improvements for certain yeah. champion types which i guess does help towards the uh improvement of damage and as well a, a champion like colossus with the amount of say armor and also the likes of beardo has decent block proficiency it can mitigate some of that uh damage that you receive through the block yeah i've heard angela is a beast um i think there's a buffed up path that that she just is great on and i imagine there's a lot of people that are going to break out that four star aegon yeah and and just add up all the hits <laughs> yeah too true so, i think for me yep. i'm now that i'm practicing with um with colossus because he's been quite uh sustainable from the point of like the armor side of things and i haven't put on a full synergy group so you know i, I could put on the likes of uh omega red i could have uh old, old man logan in there i could have so many other combinations just to kind of like beef them up yeah that this could uh this could just help take on the content I mean, you're not you're not uh, a really big fan of longer fights, though, right? No, I'm not. So that I mean, that kind of tempers your enthusiasm for the setup of this uh, challenge That's because true. there's there's no way around it, right? I mean, these are going to be longer fights with four stars than they would be with um, the five stars, the max five stars, and the rank two, maybe rank three, six stars that people are generally tackling the content with. Mm. I will suck it up. Do you know what? I'll suck it up, and I w I will end up doing it for that. Yay, Rich! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like now that I'm because the thing is, you knew it. Because <laughs> I'm because I've done like an experimentation with a few champions. I don't know. I think the apocalypse fight will be a pain in the butt, but I have to kind of really create my. Yeah, that one you're gonna have to. You really got to prep for that one. <laughs> mm. Otherwise, that's gonna like that's going to super cost me especially yeah. if things aren't working well when it comes to like i don't know dropped inputs and stuff because it was kind yeah. of weird i think i was i was chatted to a member of the kabam team and i said look you got a problem with the apocalypse so you know i can't go through a, a state where i'm cleanly evading uh the three energy balls from the sp2 and then uh, and then the next fight that i'm giving it a go uh the first two are evaded then the final one is I'm, I'm getting hit by and it was the case like you know I'd, i'm doing the same same type of evading structure that i did before so right how can one case of affairs be to another and i said oh you know is this very much internet specific and he said it shouldn't be but then other people were experiencing the same problem it was yeah kind of weird but then that's the th that's the that's the thing I, I liked playing apocalypse to the sp2 because at the end of it, he does this kind of like a belly flop forward. And I'm like, okay, well, that's my <laughs> introduction to then go in to smack yep. you. Once you do that, that was my that was my tell. Um, 
wasn't very good with evading the SP1, but that was, that's fine because uh, if you've got a high block proficiency champion, then that kind of helps. So maybe again, go back to that Colossus. No, I can't use Colossus. Um, maybe <laughs> I'll go back to using uh, the likes of Captain America. But yeah, you know, you're, you're right, Dan. Maybe I should kind of like give it a go. And maybe I will. Maybe it's the last thing I... It, I'm going to make it the last thing I do this month is to there do... There you go. It's uh, a it's a five week month, so you've a got a little month. more time. Yeah, you've got a little more time. I think my plan cool. this weekend will be 100 percent uncollected, 100 percent variant five, a mega quest. God, I've got too much to do. Oh, a mega quest. <laughs> when you think you've done everything, like you just forget it. Um, you have not. I'm still catching up on the boss rushes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's mental, mental. Yep. So did you stuff. did you have a chance to play um, Professor X? I did not. I did not. Uh, I saw your video, though. It seemed like you really uh, enjoyed the champion, and you were saying Ebony Maw, but with damage. Yeah. <laughs> How I'd like Ebony Maw to be. It, it, yeah. It, so do you like the, the setup with Professor X being kind of like the the mutant Nick Fury where he makes all the other X-Men better? i got a 30-minute video about that tomorrow. Where I play oh, nice. every single champion, not every single champion, most of the mutants in the synergies, and give mm -hmm. them a go. So that's so I'm going with uh, you. You are excited by that, then. That's good. I I that's am, good. yeah. Especially as I, you can create. Like I've picked up the four star version. Very good timing I saw to pick that. up the I four star that. version. Mainly for the synergies, I'm interested with that. Um, Man, you got you got trolled so hard. I did. That opening, I would, that six star Killmonger was almost yours. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I, I was getting more frustrated. Like I was thinking, like, do I throw something? It did mean that whilst I was playing Fall Guys, I uh, and I was like thinking, oh, I'll just do a little bit of practice of Fall Guys, and then I started like effing and jeffing, and I was thinking, <laughs> I was like, this is because I didn't get what I wanted. This is why I'm in a mood. Yep. But, so yeah, yeah, he's Professor X. I like I said, I I haven't got to play him, but his kit looks cool. Uh, any champion that is immune to reverse controls, yes, uh, is I I personally find that very exciting because uh, I'm just terrible at reverse controls. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so uh, like you know, if if I didn't have Mister Sinister, the the Grandmaster would still be ruling the contest on my account. So uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm excited by that. He just he seems cool. I like the uh, I like the design. I'm a little bit worried about him on defense, but yeah. you know how that goes. You until you really start to see them in Alliance War, you don't know whether it's going to be a nightmare or not. Yeah, because sometimes it, sometimes we get worried that someone's going to be the big new defender, and it's just totally overblown. And then sometimes it's Mojo. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah that fun champion of course yeah yeah about to enter the six star basic pool by the way six star mojos coming to an alliance war defense near you next week good luck everybody yeah good luck everyone <laughs> please don't dupe him mm, i'm uh i'm actually kind of if we this is the thing because i was talking and this will lead us on to the next story xavier yeah. good by the way so professor x xavier thumbs good. up good apocalypse we'll see in a few weeks yeah although i have seen because the deep dive has just gone out for apocalypse some that's people have taken to the forums to call him a dud so wow, that that's not premature or anything exactly <laughs> i'm hoping i get a bit more time to create a video on it on apocalypse i literally had one hour 30 minutes prior to everyone's videos going live to actually play about with uh, professor x yeah uh which i was a bit annoyed about but again this goes into uh the formulation of our, our next kind of talking point um probably one of our main talking points for me and dan where we're just gonna like just air out our concerns at the moment as people that do content and you know i'd say have other interests outside the game we are or i'm i'm in particular i mean i can't i'm not going to speak, speak for you down i'll let you kind of like take the floor in a second sure i'm a i'm a bit burnt out at the moment not to a point where i'm i'm going like oh i'm too burnt out that i'm like i'm 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 done i'm too overwhelmed um i'm struggling to keep up to date with everything and you might think that oh you do youtube for a living yeah that's the thing i don't spend 
every single time of the day. Like it, it's surprising of a working day for me, which starts at about eight o'clock in the morning and finishes at about 11.30 p.m. at night. I probably only get to play the game for about two hours and 30 minutes, which is incredibly surprising when uh and maybe if i do a live stream it then bumps that up uh, by an hour and a half but then i'm not able to live stream i spend too much time either preparing videos recording videos editing videos and and stuff like that so keeping up to date is difficult and i'm trying my best at the moment to get all the content done I yeah don't know it's I'm, I'm feeling you on that rich it's it's pretty tiring especially when you're trying to know what's going on and then when things start going wrong, like we've had this week, mm. uh, I mean, you get it, I get it. People start asking questions. They want to know what's going on. Yeah. And, uh, you want to be able to have an answer mm -hmm. uh, for them, especially where we're, we're fortunate enough to have a greater level of access where we can sometimes get those answers quicker for, for people or just be able to, you know, translate things from, uh, you know, I'm always joking about, oh, you know, what's the post say? It's like, all right, I'm going to transfer this, tr uh, translate this from Kabam to Summer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is how you run the side quest kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, when, when, when there's a lot of content, that makes news. Mm -hmm. But then when that content breaks, the news cycle exponentially grows. <laughs> and, and you don't get to play the game as much. Like, I feel like I'm in a pretty good place with the game. There's a lot of time sensitive stuff right now like we just had an event quest expire i think i finished the herald difficulty side quest with like six hours to go so that was a little closer than i like to cut it i like to have things done with plenty of time to spare yeah. uh, and then the boss rushes so now it's like okay the boss rushes are going to expire next i need to focus on those and then i'll go back to the event quest so i definitely feel like i'd like to be a little further ahead like stuff like variant five act six permanent I, that i don't stress about because that's uh gonna be there but it's more just like keeping up with the uh with the news having the answers that uh people want um <laughs> you know yeah. as if you're you're someone who i i don't know about you but I, you know i pride myself in like staying up to date with the news and being helpful and having answers for people so mm -hmm. when stuff breaks um there there does there is a sense of urgency there uh, that is, you know, it's definitely self-inflicted, but it's it's there nonetheless. And then, like you said, you know, there's also life and a global pandemic and and work and all those other things. So it does mm. it does definitely add up. And and uh, and also, Alliance War is still Alliance War. Yeah. <laughs> On top of that, so I've I've had a couple of I've had a couple of rough ones the last uh, few wars. So that that hasn't helped. But uh, so you know, I I may have to you know take a step back and and downshift a little bit over the next few weeks to sort of uh, right the ship uh, in that regards. Yeah. And for me, I've already made the decision that I need to take uh, a, se a season off. Um, well, potentially a season off. I, I, I don't 100% know. The issue that I've got at the moment for uh, Alliance Wars is that, and this may be where this weekend comes into it because now Alliance Wars has has ended today. I don't think it starts up until Monday for matchmaking, or is it Sunday? Dan, you usually know these things, don't you? Yeah. You're breaking up my end, unfortunately. No. It could be my internet, to be honest. Okay, I mean you're coming no. through clear. You've come you're so. coming back in fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, you've been clear the whole time. Yeah, we're about to go back into matchmaking again. So uh, we got we've got um let's see. So yeah, I think we've got war. This is uh we've got five wars left in the season. Wonderful. So season rewards are locked and yeah, we've got five left. So that this is the issue that I've got is then picking I don't have to pick and choose my time so wisely uh, for availability of champions. It's not like a go to thing. I could use four stars, but again it goes back to like, well, why would I use want to use four stars in variant five? Um, yeah. most of my mystics, including some obscure ones, are, are utilized for it. Like um, I'll use Doctor Doom for attack most times because I, I see his some of the best op one of it's probably the go to option. Black Widow, Clairvoyance, always in use. Um, 
who else? There, there, I'm not giving. I don't want to give away too much of like my structure. Well, everyone ends up seeing my team, right? But yeah, I think I put in into defense four Mystic Champions, which which takes out like the entirety of my stronger variant five team. Oh sure. Which yep. is an unexpected thing. I don't think Caban went, oh, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll make this very much Mystic-centric for 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 Variant 5 so the Rich the Man can't put in his... Uh, his so he can have his Mystic team that's usually put into Alliance Wars stripped out so he can do the content. No, it's not, it's not a case that, you know, that was made in that kind of way. But it's just like, it's just unfortunate that is the case and I have to then pick and choose when I take it in. Like I used a four-star Scarlet Witch to do a little bit of like fun interactions um, yep. on a stream. And, it, you know, it, it was okay, but doing 200 to 300 hits per fight, after a while, just goes, for me, yeah. just, oh, I'm just, I need to complete this quicker. This is just slowing me down. It's fun. I had a blast. It was a laugh, but, you know, it's, I don't want to do the same thing with ranking up a four-star uh, Mystic. Yeah. Um, I understand people are using two stars, but they're only using them for exhibition and video creation, and that's fine. But I'm not at the point where I don't want to. I wouldn't say like waste my time on creating something like that because it's not people doing it showcase like you know good skill or good interaction. Mm. But it's again goes back to time sensitive nature. I need to do it. I need to hundred percent it, and I need to move on to the next thing. Yeah, you're so, talking about efficiency with your time, so yeah. certainly understandable. So it's a bit, it's one of these things where I'm in order to next month and the following months catch up, I'm gonna have to make a decision whether or not I want to stay for season twenty. Is it twenty one? Yeah, season twenty one. Yeah. God. Yeah. Um, I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But yeah, I'm I mean, it's, it's amazing how the games changed. Where a couple months ago, everyone was like, "There's nothing to do," and now we're like, "Whoa, <laughs> there's a lot to do." Yeah. For and they sure. and they and they ended up backing up. Uh, summer of pain because i think they were just like yeah this is this is enough right now <laughs> mm. we don't we don't need to drop another piece of content uh right now yeah I, i'm thinking about it like um the i just sorry going back to the whole kind of banning situation of the mutant treasure island oh yeah we didn't really talk about that no um but i mean the, uh, yeah the issue of what this will do for Alliance Wars, I know now many people, uh, We, funnily enough, we may have someone in our alliance that has been banned. I can't 100% corroborate that and, and correctly assume that, but there's one person that hasn't logged in in, you know, something serious could have happened, but they haven't logged in yeah. in se 17 hours. So... Well, yeah, that's a little suspicious. It's a little suspicious. <laughs> but this is the yeah. issue, like, it's not... Luckily, it's not so much of an issue for us. As soon as we kind of like get an inkling, maybe we could bring someone in as a reserve. I don't know. Um, that's up to leadership to to decide what they how they want to deal with that situation. Is this our? As luckily, it's only one person. If it was more than one person, our reserve would be um, would be in jeopardy. So we're we're, right. kind, we're kind of all right as long as nobody makes a mess up. But that's the thing. For alliances where more individuals have done this more than ever, they're going to have to start searching for people um, because we don't know the volume and the numbers of people that have attempted the exploit. Like what would right. have happened yes not yesterday, Wednesday, when I recorded a video, I went onto the quest again, but I didn't go down the route. If I went down the route and grabbed the item again, which was another load of six-star shards, I could have had my account banned. Yeah, I think I think it was three times. Three times, right. Yeah, I, I think it was three times. I think I, I, that's not something I've heard from Kabam. That seems to be like the community sourced cutoff, that it was people that ran the path three or more times or the ones that received the ban. Mm. Well, that... I mean, that. at the third time, you know that... that you. I think it, by the third time, you should know something's up, <laughs> that that's unusual. Yeah. Um, But, you know, there's so often there's a case where something is, you know, something is wrong, like right at the outset, um, whether it's like we were talking about earlier, where um, chapters are open that are not supposed to be open. So it's it's I don't know. It's a really weird time, like just jumping into content the second it goes live. Mm. And that's that's the thing at the moment where we're 
uh, you know, unfortunately, at the moment, like I, I, we're still waiting for Kabam to, and I don't know if, if like, uh, and that's that's the thing that like people. I'm just just reading now a discussion that like we're trying to get an idea from Kabam what is actually going on. Um, Kabam is saying it's fine to go in, but um, confusion, confusion seems to be a thing at the moment. I think after we do our our live stream, whatever we decide to cover. Uh, whether or not it's Marvel Realm or the MCOC or the Incursions, because I know we were talking about Dark Hawk. Um, yep. I might have to try and squeeze out a video, depending on what... Like, I don't want to record... I recorded a video, but I I'm, I'm think I'm going to scrap it and just to kind of, like, see where Kabam are at with, with the answer. Like, I don't want to commit myself to saying, yes, it's fine to go in. No, it's not fine to go in and avoid... It, and I'm like, whilst we've been recording, I've been trying to go over the various forums to see if, and even like on Kabam Mike's comments to see if he's been um, chatting. I might have to even go on Kabam Boo and um, see if she's been commenting on on various yeah. topics. Yeah, just, yeah it's a, uh, it is a developing situation for sure. Yeah. No, no answer. I mean, there might be in a meeting at the moment to kind of discuss stuff that maybe is going down. Yeah, I, I mean, that's the you know that's the thing is they when there are problems the the people that run the forums are not the people that are going to fix them mm. and they do need time to track down those people and that you know everyone's working remotely right now so that that takes time so uh, i would just say remember that in your responses because I, I think we've seen a lot of people that are on edge right now whether it's on twitter or on the forums or uh you know just just remember, like, people are trying to get you answers, whether it's people that are members of the community like us or whether it's it's the actual community team from Kabam. They they want to get you an answer as soon as they can. Mm. Very true. Now, have you been able to get into Marvel Realm or do any Marvel Realm this week? I did. I did get into Marvel Realm. It's been a little buggy this week. Uh, definitely, we're some connection issues. I don't know if that was on my end or on their end or a little both. Um, but uh, I am loving my Storm Pyramid X. Just got her to rank two. Um, I don't know about you, but I've I've been getting more into the gear and going for a look rather than automatically putting on the, the spiffiest piece of gear with the most power. I, I know that's probably slowing me down a little um, a, uh, a little bit, but I, I kind of am leaning into the make Marvel mine thing mm. and creating a storm that uh, I really like because I was going for like the best pieces of power for gear with Iron Man. And I got this kind of like hodgepodge Iron Man that looked like he was made <laughs> out of scrap parts, <laughs> you know, um, but um, I really, really like in playing storm and I am uh I am slowly but surely uh, moving my way up the rank. She's a little over 500 in the PI. Uh, but I've also played a little bit with my son, and he absolutely loves the designing of the characters. Uh, mm. I basically gave him Hulk and was like, you can you can have Hulk and make Hulk however you want. And he just loves <laughs> that he gets to customize his own Hulk and smash stuff. And I basically you know, drive the Hulk and let him... Uh, you know, hit the special buttons, and uh, he's just having the best time. Uh, so we're uh, we're uh, we're playing a little bit of Realm and a lot of Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Right now, as he uh, as he's starting to uh, develop a an affinity uh, for gaming. Oh, that that's pretty. Yeah. Cool, especially when they get into we're, that. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 a lot of fun. Uh, what about you, Rich? Have you uh, played any Realm this week, or just no time? No time. It no sucks. Time. It does suck. Uh, I'm hoping to get some time over the weekend, but I'm I'm yeah. I was hoping to use the weekend to catch up on the stuff that I can easily catch up on. Like, uh, I think I'm gonna have to do that. I think I'll play a few rounds of Fall Guys, uh, which I haven't done since like a week, and uh, then try. And, I, I mean, I wanted to catch a new Marvel Avengers game, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for that. Oh, not, not enough hours in the day. No, I downloaded Marvel Duel as well. And I was like, okay, I'll um, I'll give that a go. Oh, no, not another thing, Rich. Yeah, I, I, no. I, and that's that's been on there for I think on my phone for about oh, I don't want to say like um, must be a month nearly now. So yeah, 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to find more more time. Uh, yeah. I can't really warrant getting an editor at the moment. Uh, financially, it just doesn't work out for me. Right. Um, but we'll have to see. Maybe I'll, if I really kind of commit to get to growing Rich's realm, then uh, maybe that's a different case. But you know, another thing, another thing, another thing to work. I'm going to be doing a massive rebrand for my channel and a new office setup. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'll just find some extra time for that. Right. Oh yeah. Put it on the list. Yeah. Everything goes on the list at the moment. So I'm at Discord. Oh, yeah. Sort out this. Yeah, sort out that. It's a big list. <laughs> exactly. I feel you. It's a big list. Yeah. Right, I think that's it. I think it's uh, been a nice little podcast we've put together yeah. talking about a few things. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about, Dan? Uh, yeah, just I want to give people the quick uh, 30 seconds on next week because oh, yeah. next Tuesday, um, September 8th, is a huge day in the contest. So uh, Black Widow Deadly Origin finally hits the basic pool. Uh, that's the day the new incursions reset. So that's going to be... New Incursions Crystals, Incursions version 1.1, which has uh, Sector 8 in it. Oh, uh, the wait, beta. I, I know what yeah. we're doing next Friday then. Yeah, yeah, we are. Sector 8. <laughs> Sector 8, baby. Uh, the the book, two, uh, book 2 Act 1 beta, uh, Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, um, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern on uh, the 8th. And finally, uh, new six-star featured crystal. Uh, so that's going to be all the, um, let me see if I have it real quick. I think it starts with, um, like red guardian. Mm. Uh, I lost it. I had, I had it up before, um, who is actually going in the, um, six star featured crystal. Cause I know people are going to ask, let me get it real quick. Okay. Yeah. So it is, um, yeah, it starts with Red Guardian. So it's everyone that's new. Uh, Red Guardian, uh, Tiger, Hit Monkey, Guardian, Sasquatch, Airwalker are going to be your uh, featured six star crystal uh, pool champion. Fantastic. Coming up. So, yeah, so a spicy, uh, spicy crystal. And then there's a bunch of new six stars dropping into the six star basic pool. Probably uh, Mojo, Sorcerer Supreme, and X23 being the headlines from that group delightful yeah so that's uh that's it for the calendar stuff and you know just gonna be uh plugging away doing the updates and hopefully uh doing some mutant treasure island and the omega quest perfect that sounds like a good kind of like week hopefully there's less scuff to talk about and uh, more good vibes and things as well so yeah, that's been a podcast. Thank you everybody for for listening on in. Do bear do bear in mind we are available on all the uh, the populars on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and uh, YouTube. Make sure you're following on all those things, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye everybody. <laughs>